Hello friends, welcome back to our tutorial designing an impressive architectural building in Revit 2018 Metro. If you have been following along, go and open the file 00 underscore 032 underscore DIAB underscore N. You can also download this file from the website. Go and click the file tab. Hover the mouse cursor to save as. Click projects. This brings the save project as dialog box. Rename the file to 00 underscore 033 underscore DIAB underscore M and click the save button. Go to the project browser and double click the, pro the floor plan view to open this view. Zoom in into this area. Use a window selection to select everything in the project. Click the filter button. Click the check none button and scroll down and place a check mark on the reference plane. Click OK. All the other objects are deselected except the reference plane. Click the delete command or type DE on your keyboard to delete this object. Revit deletes all the reference plane except the two reference plane that we started originally. Because of this extent, plane are pinned. Click the modify button to dismiss the error. Right click dimension. Avoid the mouse cursor to select all instances visible in view. Hit delete on your keyboard. Select this section command and delete it. Click OK to confirm. Select this line and hit delete on your keyboard and delete it. Now click the minus sign to the floor plan section. Sign to the ceiling plan section. Click the plus sign to the 3D section to collapse this category. Click to collapse the elevation. Now click the plus sign next to the structural plan. In the structural area, you have only two plans, roof 1 and roof 2. So we need to add plans to this structural side so that we can do all the structural work in this plans and do the architectural work in the floor plans. To do that, go click the view tab. I want you to focus your attention under the structural section. In the grid panel, click the down arrow next to view plan and select structure. When you do in this dialog box, you see all the possible structural plan that you can grid. At the bottom of the dialog box, you see a uh, check marks. Do not duplicate existing view. If I uncheck this box, you see all the views in the project. Click this box to remove the view that have already has a structural plan in them. Now select the ground floor, pull down the control key, foundation and footing. Click OK. You see Revit grid a structural plan for the views that you just selected. We need to create one more. Go to the view tab again. In the grid panel, click the down arrow next to plan view and select structural plan. Select the first floor and click OK. Now scroll through, click this view one by one to see the results. Now click the plus sign next to the elevation and open the front elevation. Rename this bottom of footing to footing. Click select yes to confirm. Change the value to minus 2000 millimeter. Change the value for foundation to minus 1500 millimeter. Now click the plus sign next to the before the elevation to collapse this elevation. Double click the footing to open this. Now, because we have the footing in a different level, you see that here you can see clearly the concrete material. But with the exception of this other side. Now, I'm not going to waste time on this view. I'm going to select this wall and hide them from the current view. Click this down arrow and select hide element. There's a problem with this approach. You cannot see the material of the concrete. But we're going to use uh, another way to display the material. Click into this area and use a window selection to select all this object. Right click in an empty area, override graphic in view, and follow the mouse cursor and select by elements. Go to surface pattern, click the surface pattern, and click the this button to open the material browser. Select concrete and click OK. Click OK to see the results. You see now this material match with this material. Zooming into this area, we need to correct this wall. Select this concrete, click this node and move it to this wall. Click the modify button. Open the foundation view. Double click the foundation view to open this view. Hold down the scroll bar and move it down. Click the edit view range. 
leave the top offset to 600 and cut plan to 300 and change this value to zero this value to zero click apply and click ok double click the ground floor go to the view range change this value to 2100 millimeter and change this value to 1500 millimeter change this value to zero this to zero click apply to see the results click ok double click the first floor view go to the view range change this value to 2100 and change this value to 1500 change this value to zero this to zero click apply click ok double click the roof one go to the view range change this value to 2100 and this value to 1500 change this value to zero this value to zero click apply click ok click on the view range again this time for the moment change this value to higher value let's assume let's say 40 meter you can put and when you are in millimeter unit when you want to indicate meter Levis can do the calculation and interpret it for you then type 30 meter click apply click ok double click the roof to go to view range change this value to 50 meter and this value to 40 meter click apply enter zero zero click apply click ok now go to the foundation plan so now that we have set all of this foundation we can use this to do the structural work in these views that we just created that's exactly what we are going to do in the next tutorial we are going to stop this video ready for the next tutorial we'll be greeting the grids for the structural plan in this video if you like this tutorial please click the like button and share it to your friends if you have any question or suggestion please leave a comment below if you want to continue this tutorial or any other tutorial on my channel please subscribe thanks very much for watching i hope to see you in the next class goodbye